Inlay hints in VS Code can show you useful information directly in the text of your current editor. What you might not know, though, is that you can also interact with inlay hints, seeing documentation for types and variables, and even jumping to definitions. But before looking at that, let's just quickly review what inlay hints actually are. So in this TypeScript file, for instance, I've turned on inlay hints so that we are going to see the type of variables that don't have explicit type annotation. You can see this on the variable here, the const workspace folder. It does not have an explicit type annotation, but there's an inlay hint after it showing us what the type would be. We can see the same down here for the new file variable. Again, the inlay hint is this faded out section after it, and it is showing us what the type of that variable is without us adding an explicit type annotation. Inlay hints do not actually exist in the source uh, text that is saved to disk. It is something that is only shown by the editor, and it's providing useful information that we don't have to do anything to actually trigger. Now, to turn this feature on in TypeScript, there's a bunch of different settings to enable inlay hints. The one that I have enabled is the TypeScript inlay hint variable types enabled setting here. And this one is the one that is going to show the type after variables that do not have explicit typing. Now, let's take a look at interacting with these inlay hints. So in JavaScript and TypeScript, you can interact with inlay hints much like you can with normal code that's in your file. So if you wanted to see the documentation for the workspace folder type here, all we have to do is actually hover over it, and you'll see that we're now seeing the documentation for this type. That would be the JS doc comment that is written for this type. We can do the same with more complex types as well. So if we go down here to the new file type, we can go and hover over URI, part of this more complex object type, and see the documentation for the URI type. The other useful thing you can do if you want to learn even more about a type is actually just control click or command click to jump to its definition. So on Windows and Linux, we would control click on the type that we're interested in. On Mac, we would hold down command and then click on it. So again, we're going to go find the type that we're interested in inside of the inlay hint. We'll hold down control on Windows and Linux or command on Mac and then click on it. And you can see it's underlining the type here to tell us that it is interactive. And when we do this, it's going to jump directly to that type. So you can see it's jumped to the interface for workspace folder, which is the type we were looking at before. Just to review that again, if we go and find the type that we're interested in, in the inlay hint, and we want to jump to the definition, all we have to do is hold down Control or Command and then click on that type, and it will jump directly to the definition of the type. Both of these features are making inlay hints feel more like they're part of your actual source code. So um, if you have normal source code and you're wanting to see the documentation of a type, of course, you can just go and hover over it just like we were seeing with the inlay hint. And then to jump to the definition, you can also use control or command and then click on it and it'll jump down to the type. So the same features that work for normal source code are now supported for inlay hints and the types within those as well. Now, not every language is going to support interactive inlay hints just yet. So even if a language does support inlay hints, they might not be interactive, but you can open a feature request if you'd like to see that. And they are uh, these interactive inlay hints are supported in JavaScript and TypeScript, so you can try them out today. So that's a quick look at interactive inlay hints in JavaScript and TypeScript in VS Code.